Garrett Blevins here with a uh, overview of the first week of the next block that I'm in. I'm doing some three-week blocks right now, and so my uh, my training is kind of going in this three-week wave where I'll increase intensity and RPE throughout those three weeks, and then additionally I'll kind of mess with the fatigue where I have the highest fatigue on the midweek. So there's kind of a base laying week, a higher volume week, and then a slightly lower volume, but higher intensity week at the end. Um, I'm trying to plan in some uh, lower rep ranges, but I did have some sevens on low bar squat for this week. These were pretty brutal. Um, even with 495, sevens are just really outside my wheelhouse and was not feeling great this week um, because it's week one, and that's after the heavy week. Had a uh, 545 high bar squat PR. Um, for reps last week and did pretty good I think with 585 for five on low bar uh, for the end of the week so I was still a little fatigued as I did the back off work I started to feel better and better but it was definitely a, uh, a taxing week as far as squats went I think I ended up with three or four back off sets on this day that's something I think is important even when you're doing RPE training is to get a good amount of back off sets um, sometimes you even have to uh, push the weights a little bit down so that you can get more volume and I think that's okay. I was recently reading an article um, it's on the RTS website it's uh, about project momentum which is something that Mike Deshear ran with his clients and uh, or a group I'm not sure if they were paying for it or not um, but they got some really good data out of it and one of the things that they had was some really low uh, back off sets. They would have a set number of reps at a certain percentage maybe like 68% for sets of five. And that was just one week that he had as an example. But that registers in it like an RPE3 on the RPE chart. But it allows you to do multiple sets. And you're probably going to go from a three to a six, something like that. I think that volume can still be useful, but that surprised me that the percentages were that low. Um, however, there was really high frequency. And so you're not going to be able to go uh, heavy if you're squatting frequently. For me, one of the things I've found is that about two times a week is all I can stand for a low bar. And uh, especially after this day with these sevens, I was just torched. My lower back was tired. Everything was feeling pretty beat up. And I know that's going to continue through this block. But as I get closer to competition, I'll start using some uh, lower rep ranges and heavier weights. And that's actually going to alleviate some of the fatigue that I've been building up. You'll see there that I was feeling pretty good and didn't want to do another back offset. So I actually uh, paused that last rep. I um, believe this is a warm-up weight of, yeah, 545 here. I'm leaving my sumo setup in so I can look at it um, and just kind of be, uh, create a repeatable process. I've been working a lot on my uh, sumo lately, trying to get that squared away. It's definitely the weak link in the chain. That rep was slow off the floor, but a lot of these hook grips I'm finding are kind of that way because it's hard for me to... Uh, really explode. I'm definitely trying not uh, to jerk the weight when I'm leaving the floor, but to really build up tension and uh, break the floor in a good position and not allowing my hips to shoot back. So no matter how slow the bar comes off the floor, as long as my hips aren't shooting back and pitching me forward, it's a good rep in my book. Um, I believe this 585 goes quite a bit better. Yeah, it left the floor just really smooth. That was probably my uh, one of my better reps with hook grip so far. And I was repeating this weight from the previous week. This is week one of the new block. I'm doing singles every week with sumo uh, at a submaximal RP. These aren't RP10 sumo poles. But I had some slipping and so um, with my thumb, so I decided to repeat this weight and just hit it better this week. Um, really tried to dial in my grip, spend my, uh, my time down there at the bottom, be patient, get into a good position. And again, a little slow off the floor, but moved really well, and I held good positions, and that was the most important thing to me. I'm then uh, doing some pretty decent back-off work, because I'm going from a single all the way back to something I'll do reps with. And uh, I think I did dead stops, or at least a little bit more dead stop than I've been doing. I don't know that this is necessarily helpful for me. Um, I do think it's important to keep tension through the whole lift. But it also doesn't really reinforce the starting position too much for me. I think touch and go is a good alternative when you're doing reps with sumo. Only because um, you're getting more work in with touch and go. And you're really, for me, I'm exercising the muscles more. And I feel the muscles more 
when I do touch and go uh, than when I do just straight dead stops. Um, and this is the last set I recorded. I'm also, I mean, again, trying to get a good number of back offsets each day and not just have one or two back offsets after my main work, even if I'm starting to feel tired. I'll take a little bit more rest than normal if that's going to mean I'm going to be able to recover and hit some more back offsets. But all in all, these move pretty well. I'm really liking how sumo is going and making some progress there. So this is low bar squats from the, uh, the end of the week. You'll probably hear my voice um, a little out of breath right now. That is because I'm currently in the middle of a workout <laughs> as I'm doing this voiceover. Things have just been really hectic lately. Um, it's a really busy time for me. Hopefully things will slow down over the summer, but still trying to get in some, uh, some good training and get some footage out to you all. I may have a few videos with just lifting footage, only because they uh, are a lot faster to make and I probably won't edit them too much. You'll see here 585, 45. And it, uh, it went pretty well. It was a little slower than I would have liked. But like I mentioned earlier, um, putting two times a week low bar in instead of having that high bar really taxes me, especially when it's higher reps. Uh, my coach, Annie at TSA, has advised to take the sevens down to sixes. And I think that's a good call. Um, even when you're doing DUP style training, where you have different rep ranges each day or even different rep ranges within the same day or whatever. Um, it's good to have them pretty close. Um, I don't have any great rules of thumb, but for me, uh, tens, tens to sevens or maybe tens to sixes is a good range, but that's about it. I wouldn't have tens and fives in the same block, and having sevens and threes is kind of pushing it. Uh, six and threes is pretty good. Maybe the rule of thumb should be... Uh, if your lowest reps are less than half of your high rep day or something like that, then you should uh, either lower the high rep day or increase the low rep day. That may be a good rule of thumb. I'm not 100%, but it's good to have the rep ranges fairly close. Um, you see the back off work there for that end of the day. Bench has been just feeling off. I think it's because of the frequency I've been benching and also the, uh, the volume amount. Um, the first rep moves okay, but you see almost immediately that second rep is slow, and third rep is slow too. Uh, 405 for three is pretty abysmal for me. Um, I'm hoping that'll turn around before the meet, and you know, I'm in a fatigue debt, so that's kind of what happens, but I'm a little bit deeper in that fatigue than I would like. I am also in the process of losing weight though. Um, at my peak, I was about 250 over the past four months. And I got to get back down to 231. I'm sitting about 235 right now, so I'm happy about that. It won't be any problem to get the weight at this next meet, but I need to get back to training weight. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, in any case, hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Blessings.